Wouldn't it be nice to make money while you sleep? Imagine you're at a restaurant, a party with some friends, you look down at your phone, there's a notification that says, ding, you just made $50. That's impossible, right? Nope. Actually happens to me all the time. And this isn't me trying to show off, but it's just trying to show you that even somebody at the size of me on YouTube could do it. That means that you could do it as well. And it's a really nice feeling to have knowing that when you're sleeping, you're making money. So am I just the lucky one in a million or could you do it too? Well, first you gotta ask yourself three difficult things. One, are you disciplined? Number two, are you ready to put a lot of work in in the beginning and not be able to reap the benefits until a little bit while later? And three, the hardest question of them all, do you like money? If you answered yes to all of those, then keep watching. If not, then passive income is not for you and this video is a waste of your time. Unfortunately, passive income is one of those things where you put a lot of work in, a lot of effort, and you have to wait a long time until you start to reap the benefits of being able to sit back on the beach or make money while you're sleeping. You have to do these things for many, many months or years even. With 2023 just around the corner, it's a great time to start your passive income journey. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the six best ways to make passive income in 2023. Really quick, I wanna let you know that anything worth linking is gonna be in the description down below. But like I said, be aware, all of these things are great passive income sources. They will take you time and effort to start. There's a chance that it doesn't work at all, but more likely than not, you'll see some type of benefit later on in your life. Number one, print on demand. In today's world, we don't have to go to the store and buy t-shirts or clothing anymore. We don't have to buy a printing press and thousands and thousands of shirts just to put your logo or your design on a t-shirt. There's a simple process to this. You can open up a store online using a website. You can list custom products with those designs on them that you've either made or purchased from a designer. Throw a little bit of money into advertisement, sit back, and watch the orders come in. If you're already converting and making some sales, you know your designs are good, your prices are good, you might as well throw some advertisement dollars into it to increase those sales. And there's really no money up front unless you have to pay a designer to make some designs for you. The company that you work with will print, package, and deliver every single order that comes through. But that's also one of the bad things is that the third party, them, the company that you're working with, is responsible for everything. So if a package doesn't get there on time or it comes damaged or whatever, it's on their time. So you gotta make sure you're working with a company that is known in the space and has a good reputation. A website example of what I'm talking about is called Printify. Number two, we're gonna talk about online courses. There's someone in this world who needs help with everything. Unfortunately, this is one of those things that you have to have skills or be professional within a subject so that you can make a course and sell it. It is time heavy. It's probably more time heavy than even writing a book. You also need to have all the equipment necessary. Do you have a camera? Do you have a whiteboard to write on to show your audience? Do you have video editing skills? Maybe you need some marketing skills. But if you are one of those people that are super talented and maybe video editing or writing, or maybe you're really good at technology and you can show people how to use their iPhone, you can make a boatload of money if your course sells. And it's all profit. The only downside is that you have to be good at what you're doing, you have to be professional, and you have to have the skills to be able to back it up. Also, you might need some money to get a camera, a microphone, things like that, to go ahead and film this course that you plan on putting online. Not for everybody, but there's a big possibility to make a lot of money here. There's three websites that come to mind when I think about this. Udemy, Skillshare, Coursera. You guys can check them all out. By the way, if you guys are enjoying this video, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe so you never miss out on any of our content. Number three, digital products. Anything you can think of. Printables templates, plugins, audiobooks, designs, you name it, you can make it, put it on a store online, put it on a website, and boom, people have the ability to buy your digital product and you make money. This is anything that you can download and use or download and print. Like I said, it might be a design, a poster, some type of background. You could sell backgrounds for your computer desktop. The good thing about digital products is you take your time once. You make it, you put it on your website, and they have high profit margins because forever and ever, you can be getting paid all that money. If it's $10, you're keeping all $10 because you made it, it's yours. It's easy and inexpensive to start. The only problem is you're gonna have to have a skill. Are you good in Photoshop, video editing? Are you good with art? This is a great way for artists to monetize their work. The only downside of this is that it could take a long time to start noticing any reasonable income. The reason I say that is because you have to have a website or a blog or a YouTube channel that you can sell these products on that people are gonna be willing to buy. Otherwise, it's gonna take a lot of marketing and it's gonna take a lot of push to get your products in the eyes of people. Website hosting is necessary for this, so you'd have to have a website made or you can make it yourself with a simple website builder like Weebly or Wix. Number four, affiliate marketing. You guys know this has to be in the video. It's as simple as helping companies make sales and you keep a commission of the profits. My channel is all about this, so I'm not really gonna go too in depth about it, but you probably have to have a website, a blog, a YouTube channel, somewhere that you can throw these products out there. Good thing about this is that there's many different products to choose from, so there's always a product out 
out there offering a commission rate for you, depending on every single niche that you're in. The programs are always free to join, but some of them might have requirements. You might need a thousand subscribers on YouTube or 10,000 subscribers required uh, just so that you can get accepted into the program. Like I said, you either need an audience already or you can put money into advertisement, but that's where risk gets involved. You can either check out ClickBank or ExpressVPN, the number one VPN on the market. And if you guys click on the link in the description down below for ExpressVPN, you guys can get yourself three free months or 49% off of a VPN. Number five, YouTube. As cliche as it is to say that it's one of the best forms of passive income, once you get past that barrier of 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, every single video that you've ever made, as long as it's monetizable, which means you don't have any copyrighted content or copyrighted music, you'll make money, whether it be 10 cents a day or $10 or $100 a day from those videos that you might have made many, many years ago. If I upload a video on this channel, it makes money. It's not a lot unless I get a lot of views, but it will make money for me for the rest of my life, given that it gets views. The only downside of this is remember that what you put online cannot be erased. There's always somebody that might have taken a screenshot of something, screen recorded. You could always find what you've put online somewhere. So if you're one of those people that don't like to be seen on camera and you don't want your life shown on camera, then you gotta be careful about this option. It's fun. It teaches you a lot of skills, but if you're in YouTube just to make money, know that it's not gonna always work. You have to have somewhat of an enjoyment of making videos and sharing content, responding to people, it is a job, but in the same way, you have to enjoy it, which is good. You don't wanna hate your job, you wanna enjoy it. The easiest way to get started on YouTube is to pick a niche, pick a target audience, and just start making content. Make it consistent quality content. It doesn't have to be every single day, but if you set a schedule that you wanna post a video every three days, you better be posting that video every three days. Make sure your audience knows when you're posting and when they come back to your channel to check for your next video. The only risk is you're putting a lot of time and effort into something and maybe you know money for equipment that you have to buy a camera, microphone, whatever. I mean, honestly, in today's world, you can really just shoot video on your phone and it's pretty good quality, but you're putting in all this time and effort into something that so many people are doing and so many people have a dream of doing. So if if you don't stand out or if you don't put the time and effort in, you will just waste your time. If YouTube and longer videos don't interest you, you could try YouTube Shorts, TikTok, Instagram. All these things are monetizable and you can make money with any single one of them. And number six, eBooks. In today's world, it's very simple to write words on a page and sell them online. It's crazy to say, you don't need any education, you don't need any illustration, you don't need any publishers, you just can put it right online. Whether it be fiction or nonfiction, any interest that you have, you can write about it and you can share it online. You can sell it on Kindle eBooks, Amazon eBooks, whatever platform allows you to upload a book to it, they check it over really quick and then from there on, you can make a sale from your book anytime for the rest of your life. It doesn't have to be long, you don't have to write a 300 page book, it can be a 10 page picture book and it's 100% creativity based on what you want to put in your book. You should know the basics of spelling, writing, and storytelling, but you know as well as I do, even when you're typing online, it'll auto-correct the words if you spell them wrong. You can right-click them, it'll show you what the right spelling is. I mean, you can search things up on Google, so really anybody can do this. There's a low publishing and resource cost. You don't have to put hundreds of thousands of dollars up front. You don't have to sign a deal with an illustration company. It's very simple. The only part about this is just like YouTube. It's dependent on if the reader enjoys it. If the audience likes it, your book will go viral, you'll be a bestseller, and you'll be rich the rest of your life. If they hate it, you'll make no money, and you'll probably be disappointed about how much time you put into something that made you no money. And that's all I have for today, guys. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you check out this one right here, because YouTube thinks you'll like it even more than this one.